In this YouTube video, you'll learn how to write a simple program that turns on a motor. We'll be working in the Kautz's programming environment and exploring the basics of ladder logic diagram. Your guide today is Matt Grantovic from Controbyte. Let's dive right in and get started with this tutorial. Let's get started on your first project in Kautz's. First, open the Kautz's installer. It's an app that helps you manage different versions of codes. I will be programming my actual setup using a PLC Finder Opta. I also added extension modules. I've connected the buttons to the inputs of the PLC and outputs to the inverter. So now I can control the motor. Remember, you don't need expensive hardware to start programming. You will use a PLC simulator embedded in CodeSys. In this tutorial, you will use CodeSys uh, SP19 patch 4 version. Just click on start and CodeSys will launch in a moment. Now we have got the project management screen in front of you. You can check which version of CodeSys you are using by going to the help tab and selecting about. As you can see, here's the version. Now, you need to create a new project. Click on new project, choose standard project, pick the folder where you want to save it. I'm saving in documents and name the project Coates's Motor. Let's start with V01, the first version. Follow me step by step the whole time. This way you will learn how to work with Coates's. Here you can choose the right device for the project. Pick the Kautzus Control Win V3X64. Next, choose the language you'll be programming in. We'll start with the latter language, which is a popular graphical language for PLCs. Then click OK. After a moment, the project structure will be created. On the left side, you'll find the main PLC program called PLC PRG. So go ahead and open that program and now we can start coding. Your first program will include the start button, which is connected to the PLC input and the PLC output will send a signal to the inverter input. Then we'll be able to start the motor. How do you do that? On the right side, you have the toolbox tab and here select the ladder elements option. Expand the tree here. You can drag the instruction and drop it to the Start Here field. This is the normally open contact. Here we'll need to connect our start button. Then on the output, select Coil and drag it to this spot. The simplest program will be up and running in just a moment. Now, what we need to do is to go to the variable declaration section between the keywords var and end var. We'll write the variable name. Let's call it x start btn colon bool and semicolon. Next, let's declare the variable called x motor on off which means turn the motor on or off, followed by a colon. And it's a Boolean variable. That means these variables can have two states, low or high, logical zero or logical one. Now you need to connect these variables to our instructions. As you can see, here we have three question marks. And if you click on and those question marks, you will see three dots on the right. Click on three dots. Here we have uh, the variables field. See, we have two variables. Let's pick X start button and hit OK. This variable is already connected. Let's move on to a coil. Go to the question marks. Here we select the variable X motor on off and click OK. A few rules about creating variables. First off, we start with what's called a prefix. This helps us quickly identify the variable type. For a bool, 
variable, the prefix is x. Next, we use a variable name in camel case, which means it starts with a capital letter and each following word also begins with a capital letter. The same goes uh, with our uh, motor variable. Congrats, you have just written your first letter program in CodeSys. Now go ahead and switch to online mode. Here, choose the simulation option. Like I said, you don't need real hardware to test this program. Go back to online and pick the login option, click yes. You are in simulation mode. Your PLC is in stop mode. Now you need to go here and click on the start option. The program is up and running. To simulate these variables, I will double click the start button with the left mouse click and you will see the value true appear here. Now go to debug tab and choose the right values option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus F7 or just click right values here. See the value in this variable has changed to true which means the motor is now on. Now I will show you what it looks like on my training station with PLC and electric motor. I will upload the program to a real finder of the PLC but you can also load it onto another uh, Wago PLC or even a Raspberry Pi or any other device programmed in with CodeSys. All right, I'm going online now and uploading um, the program to the PLC. The program will start. Let's take a look. Here we have a start button. I hold down the button and the motor starts. When the start button value goes high, this is a value true, the PLC sets its output high, sending a signal to the inverter input. And that's what starts the motor. I hold the start button again, the motor starts. This way we have our simplest motor control program. Congrats, you know how to test it in the simulator and let's start with the next lesson.